Welcome to this episode of The Gil Pritchett Effect. Online Theater Reimagined 2024. This is segment 16, and we're calling it Hijacking American Democracy. Hijacking American Democracy. I hope you like it. <laughs> now, I might need a beer for this one, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome to this episode of the Guild Pritchard Effect Online Theater Reimagined 2024. This is Segment 16, entitled Hijacking American Democracy. And as I've said, I might need a beer for this one. Because this is some crazy bat stuff going on in America. In America, y'all, this is happening right here in the land of the free, home of the brave. Now, we all know this is election season, right? Which makes a lot of things back crazy anyway with the red versus the blue thing. But dang, I know the blue team, for the most part, have fucked the red team up from time to time, again and again, but the red team has lost their freaking mind. They have gone stone cold Looney Tunes with this Project 2025 poison and MAGA, MAGA, whatever they call themselves. Don't even get me started on that orange felon, sex offender, con man, liar dude. This shit is crazy. Now somebody tell me, because inquiry minds want to know, right? How you people are going to just get together in your little private meeting after still carrying the lie of our last election being fraudulent? Let's not talk about the orange board first stolen election against Hillary, my opinion. But I digress. But even after there is videotaped evidence, hello, and audio of calls being made to fabricate evidence. And this is stuff we can see. This lie. All because that man cannot handle losing. So even after it has been declared a fair election, you know, but but you see, the thing about a liar and a lie, a lie is already dead. You feel me? A lie is already dead. So it takes a whole lot of effort a liar has to work tirelessly to breathe life into a lie. Just trying to give it life, you see. It's an ongoing task to keep a lie alive. Because it is a dead thing. It's a lie. It's already dead from the start. So a liar has to keep pumping more and more effort into the lie to try to give it life, such as what we see happening in our political arena. It's really a farce, isn't it? Talk about theater of the absurd. Now, this man is seizing. Brother was just over the moon not having this, <laughs> you know. Uh, and, and even though that's that's a little bit in in, in the past of what we're talking, uh, uh, this 
person uh, was so over the moon mad till they gathered their worst big deep pocket cronies and in their arrogance decided they are just going to bully us, the American people, and create this poison Project 2025 to set the rest of us straight, right? I mean, seriously, this is the goal of those people on the red team. I mean, just bend us over and scream, spread it and shut up. What the what? How y'all just gonna decide amongst your racist selves to put America on a path of forced obedient service to you clowns. This is America. You can't just decide what we're gonna become in a vacuum and, and not get the okay of we the American people. Seriously, what the hell? This is not your exclusive goal. Well, a time share. This is the United States of America. We have a reputation to uphold all around this globe. Hello. And you monkeys think you can just say, hey fella, this is what we go, this is what it's gonna be. And that's it. And that's it? Are you kidding me? How humorous is that arrogance? I'm sure I'm not alone when I say hell to the no. We, the people, say get the freak out of here with that point. I mean, seriously. This is not Russia or any of those totalitarian countries. This is the United States of America. And we stand by our most honored democracy. Even with its inherent issues, it is a democracy, not a dictatorship, to serve the ego of a ego trip of a few. Please. Plans don't elect, votes do. And the American people have not agreed or nor will we agree to your little fantasy. You know, you know it's, it's, it's really interesting. The arrogance of man wanting to control the life choices of other human beings. You know? This Arrogance has been the nucleus of every war, every major disaster, of every destructive thing in the in this world goes back to the arrogance of man throughout history. And here we are at a critical time of unimaginable discovery in technology, agriculture, science, astronomical phenomena. I mean, just discoveries, perhaps, astronomical phenomena of discoveries, yet as opposed to building a more perfect union to preserve and multiply these phenomena, again, we are falling victim to the arrogance of man. This Christian nationalist nonsense. <laughs> oh my good goodness. When did God instruct man to control his people or the creation of his people? Huh? Where in the word? Does it ever speak of such things except to demonstrate the fall of man? You feel me? Yeah. 
the arrogance of man. What do we think? Money, like in those days of old, with silver and gold and the best silks and herbs and fine oils, give man the God complex that is trying to hijack our democracy in 2024? I mean, it has to be something that gives this tiny, elite group of arrogant fools the gall to overlook multi-millions of American citizens while saying to each other, so look, brothers, this is what it's going to be. No holes barred. Then just expect the rest of us to bend over and spread them for the assault? What the what? Hello, arrogant man. This is the United States of America. We have a democracy that we already are comfortable with, working through our inherent issue. We don't and won't serve your racist, ego-driven dictatorship. What the hell? Because this is the United States of America. And our founding fathers foresaw this arrogance and wrote the Constitution according to say, as we the people are in 2024, hell to the no. Plans don't elect, votes do. We will speak our voices at the ballot box around this nation. You say you want a fair and equal election? Prove it. Dismantle all those secret tactics you have in place to try to influence the outcome. See, we know you have it because you protest too much, as Shakespeare says. Your transparency, as they call it in psychology, speaks volumes. We are the United States of America. Not a dictatorship. Peace and love. This is a very interesting time, y'all. Now, uh, we cannot be distracted by the tragic event of yesterday happening in Pennsylvania. But we all know him and have been taught that cause and effect, karma, reaping what we sow, all these things are really as real as we are. It's an energy in the universe. So if you're out there spewing all of this hate and all of this poison and all of this rhetoric, for power and self, self uh, empowerment, you're calling those things. We're not doing this. Joe Biden had done anything but run this country as best he can. The rest of that is on you all because we reap what we sow. I'm glad that man is all right. I thank God for that. I don't like anyone losing their lives. But if you are out there constantly staring and poking the harness nest, those things can happen. We send our peace and love to all of us in America. Uh, this is a very volatile time, but we are still standing up to preserve and protect our democracy. This poison of mega and heritage foundation 20 project 2025 will not succeed. The American people says hell to the no. This is not a dictatorship. We are wonderful, growing, developing, still democracy, a unified democracy full of people from all over. We're all immigrants. If you're not an American Indian or, or early African American, you're an immigrant. Peace and love, y'all. This 
has been uh, segment 16 of the Gil Pritchard Effect Online Theater Reimagined 2024. Uh, hijacking American democracy. We the people will not settle for that. You all have a greater fight on your hands than you might think. May God have mercy on all of us and God continue to bless these United States of America. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, we got you. Peace and love, y'all. Au revoir. <laughs>